So we're continuing on our silk on glass project. I've applied a nice layer of varnish on the whole back of the plate. And as I go around the plate, I'm holding up the edge and getting all of the silk wet with the varnish all the way around. So now my edges have a nice layer of varnish on it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my fingers and start moving the bubbles that are under the silk out towards the edge. It's important for me to make sure that I don't have any bubbles in there and that process actually takes a while. It probably takes me oh, 45 minutes from start to finish. Um, but we're going to speed up that process today. So the next thing I do is I'm going to hold this plate up to the light and I'm going to check for bubbles. And let's see if you can get a close-up of that. You can see I've got bubbles here. There's quite a few bubbles in this. So you just take your finger and move those bubbles to the side. If you don't, you're going to have areas where your silk is not adhered to your glass. So that's a big part of the process and what takes me so much time is making sure all those bubbles are out. So I won't go through that entire process while we're doing this. Mainly, I've had a lot of questions on how to push the edges down. So after I've gotten all the bubbles out, and one of the ways that I do that is I actually get, make sure it's up high enough, I get down under the table and have a light on the top and look through. Because each time that you pick it up, the edges kind of come away. So I get underneath and then push out all the bubbles. That's a really important part of this process. If you need to look it up, pick it up to look at it. Don't hold it by the edges, just put your fingers underneath and then hold it up. I just will turn my, turn my light here so I can take a look at it. And then see where my bubbles are. And then move them out. After I'm sure all the bubbles are out, I just keep working the silk and working it around the edges. Now I'm going to go ahead and push the edges of the silk all the way around the glass so they adhere to the front of the glass. And I'll keep working on this until the varnish becomes tacky and it actually is sticking to the glass on the front edge. I pay a special, ten special attention to any corners to make sure that I don't have any big wrinkles in the corners, any big pleats. And so I'll keep working on that over and over until it starts drying and gets tacky. Now, if I see that it's getting tacky but it's not quite hooked down to a particular area, I'll go ahead and stick my finger in the varnish and apply a little more varnish there and then just keep working with it and working with it until there are no bubbles and the edges are connected to the front. Once that's totally done, I know there's no bubbles in it. I know that this is wrapped around the front nice and tight. Then I will leave that to dry. You may find that um, even if your, your silk is color fast, that you may get a little bit of color coming off of it with the varnish. But that's, it usually doesn't change the silk. So when that's totally dry, I'm going to have, go ahead and put multiple other coats on. I put usually at least four. And I'll go ahead and paint those all the way around the front edge. And let's see if we can get a real close up here of what the front edge looks like. So you can see how the corners are pleated there. And it's all around the front edge. And if we've got enough time, We'll go ahead and show you how we're going to trim that edge. So quickly, to trim the edge, what I do is take a sharp razor blade 
and very carefully insert it and then just run it down the edge of the silk. Right on the edge that I want to be the front edge of the silk. So once I've carefully run that down, I can then pull off the excess silk. Be really careful when you do this not to push your razor blade this way because it will push the silk away from the edge of the plate. Once that is nice and trim and looks exactly the way I want it, then I'll come back with a wet paper towel and I'll very carefully clean the rest of the varnish off the plate. It easily comes off with water. You have to, well, maybe not easily. You have to scrub a little bit, but just be really careful when you get next to the edge. Sometimes I'll use a Q-tip next to the edge. I'll hold it up to the light and make sure I get everything so that the plate is completely clean. And then once the plate's completely clean, you're, you're done. Of course, remember, I've already put multiple coats of varnish on this. And so, I'm not sure how much time we've got left. One of the issues that I ran into with this platter is this is a textured platter, so it's got bumps on the back of it. And there were a couple of places where I didn't notice, but bubbles appeared after the whole thing was totally dry. And maybe you can get an up close with the edge of this so you can see that's what the total finished edge looks like. And make sure you use a real nice sharp razor blade while you're doing that. I think there are a few other methods of doing that, but that's the one I found that works. So I had this little bubble, so what I ended up doing with that was put a little bit of varnish in a syringe and found the bubble and then went to the bubble site and pushed my syringe in and then pulled back a little bit to get the air out of it. Once I poked a little hole in it, I could just I could just push on the bubble and the air would come out of it. Once the air was out of it, I held that bubble down and slowly injected a little bit of varnish. Be real careful with this. You don't want to stick this in your finger. Um, and then once I could see that the bubble was filled with varnish, went ahead and put a little piece of blue tape on the back of it and waited till that dried and then the little bubble went away. As far as the edge goes, if your edge has not gone, is not completely adhered to the silk, the first time that you put it on, the chances of getting it to adhere at a later date are, are really slim. So the most important part of the process is right here, making sure that that edge is all the way down. And as I said, you just keep working it and working it until, um, until it actually is stuck to the silk or stuck to the plate. And I think that's about it. One of the next projects I'm going to be working on, now that I have a couple of those plates, I have enough silk left here that I'm going to be applying it to this cylindrical vase. So I've already measured it. I know I've got enough silk to wrap around the vase with a little bit of excess. And when I put that on, I'm going to cut the top of the silk um, I'm going to leave about that much there on the bottom so I can wrap around the bottom, but the top will be right at the lip of the edge. So I won't be trimming that on the top because I will have already torn my silk there to have a nice straight edge, and then I'll be able to just move it right into position exactly where I want it, and then fold it around the underside. And then what I do as far as the butt seam here is I just trim them very closely and no, don't overlap. So thanks for visiting Sharon Shanklin's studio today. I hope that helps and answers your questions. If not, send me questions and I'll see what I can do to answer them. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye now.